all URLs are URIs, but not all URIs are URLs. And it is due to the fact that URL is just a subtype of URI. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier, and there are two kinds of identifiers. Name, which is URN. ISBN numbers are a good example of URN. And the other kind is URL, which is locators. Hyperlinks, links to websites, are URLs. It is important to notice that URL should always contain the protocol, like HTTP or FTP. Without the protocol, it is incomplete and just a name, and hence it will be considered URI and not URL. The relationship between URI, URL, and URN can be best represented by using this Venn diagram. Most of the time, confusion arises between URI and URL, as they are extremely similar, and most people do not understand that the URL is just a subtype of URI. Before we go into the definition for URI and URL, let's look into this example to differentiate between the two. The main difference between URI and URL is the fact that URI can be just the name itself, or it can be the name confined with the protocol, for example, twitter.com and https twitter.com are both URI, while https twitter.com is also a URL because it has the protocol with it. So URI is just like an address by itself, or it can be an address with the directions included. But URL always has to be an address and the directions included. If you're a web developer, 95% of the time you will be using URL, but just by definition and the relationship between the two, it is also a URI. It is always better to use URL as URL is more specific and that will likely avoid confusion. This is going to be a shorter video, so I will not go into great details, but if you believe that more detail on the subject will help you, do let me know by leaving a comment below. URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. It is a string of characters that uniquely identify a name or a resource on the internet. URI identifies a resource by name, location, or both of them. URIs have two specializations or subtypes, which are called Uniform Resource Locator, URL, and Uniform Resource Name, URN. URL is the type of URI that specifies not only the address, but also the directions. So it is not only defining the resource, but also telling us how to reach that resource. If we take the example of Twitter again, Twitter.com, in this case, is the resource name or the resource itself and the direction to reach it is HTTPS. The direction is usually a protocol like HTTPS, HTTP, FTP, Mail2. If you're a full stack developer, um, you will rarely run into URN. Um, URN is uniform resource name. It is the other type of URI. URN is a series of characters which uniquely identify or define a name of a resource. ISBN numbers are a good example of URN. URN does have very strict formatting restrictions, so not all unique numbers or IDs will be considered URN, but most of the time they can be converted into URN by correct formatting. As an analogy, if you search Google Maps Mercedes-Benz of Kansas City, the location of the address or the location of the dealership will be considered URI. But when you hit navigate, you will get the directions so the URI now has directions and it becomes URL. But remember, this is just an example and the directions and the location are not URL or URI, but it gives you a good sense of the difference between URL and URI. The only thing more specific that URL should have compared to URI is the direction. So URL is more specific. It contains the direction, while URI can be specific, it can contain the directions, but it does not have to. It can be just the resource name itself. Now, if we go back to our example of twitter.com, uh, if we have something like www.twitter.com, it might look like a URL, but it is incomplete. It will be considered an incomplete URL, which does make it a URI. But if you write this in Chrome, you will successfully navigate to twitter.com or the website 
The reason for that is because Chrome is adding the protocol behind the name or behind the URI itself. This is one of the reasons that the confusion arises between URI and URL. In real life cases, uh, twitter.com, www.twitter.com will sometimes be referred to as URL even though it is URI as it is missing the protocol. The reason for that is the protocol is not present but it is implied. To be honest, confusion between URI and URL exists and it will always exist. But it is highly unlikely that it will cause any serious concern or a bug when writing a piece of software or while documenting that piece of software. Especially as a web developer or a full stack developer, you will rarely run into an issue where using URI instead of URL will cause any serious issue or harm. When writing scripts, it can be a concern, but as a web developer, you will never run into this issue. But it is always good to know the difference between URL and URI. So to sum it up, URN and URL are subtypes of URI. URN is just the name, while URL is the locator. URN is just a unique identification, while URL is a unique identification with a pathway or the directions which help us reach the identification or the identifier. Remember, if an item is a URL or a URN, by definition, it is also URI, as both URN and URL are subtypes of URI. And if you are certain, always try to use URL instead of URI, as URL is more precise and it removes the ambiguity that can occur when saying the word URI.